welterweight division matchup. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling, they start doing jiu-jitsu, they start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Tail of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age. Some differences in height and reach. All right, now for the particulars inside the octagon, here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of... And wins. No losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Stockholm, Sweden, Hobbs and Force Chibaga! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 20 wins, four losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting. And a Boca Raton, Florida, Gilbert Durinho Burns! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. So here we go, round one. I can barely hear myself thinking this straight right now. Two of the most dominant, well-rounded fighters in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all the big martial arts. They can do everything when they're And with authority, goes to the judo throw right into side control. He's in side control. He's got a ton of options. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any you've ever seen. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. You got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture. And the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the pin. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape DC. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. 
He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Just over three minutes to go. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. All right, under three minutes now to go in round one. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. He lands flush with that right hand. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, he gets denied. Blocked! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Neon Belly! Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Well, he's got his back now. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Burns. Close guard. Oh, that'll work. The grounded pound strike is good. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Burns. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra pop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities where you can either escape or sweep. That right hand landed. Oh, that right hand is on point. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Nice hammer fist. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying. Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish. And he's out. All right, there's the clapper. Ten seconds to go. Burns has got the full mount. Hey, hey stop. All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lot for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. You ready? You ready? Second round underway. Connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach, it's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Burns gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. All right, so now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of the submissions to pop here tonight. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. the speed on that reversal there. I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. 
Burns gets caught with that punch. All right, so he lands his first takedown of the fight after many failed attempts, so he stayed. Now he's a tight on triangle. Triangle looks pretty tight, DC. I'm no Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, but maybe not good here. No, it looks like he's getting in deep. it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. So a seminal moment for this fighter here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Huge victory in his career, and it'll be very interesting to see how they matchmake him moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop to this contest at one minute, 17 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by submission due to an armbar, Gilbert Duringa incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating his victory by way of submission and they put so much stock into finishing this fight they felt like to really spin his career forward they needed to not just win but get the finish and they certainly got it tonight they got the finish he's such a terrific grappler every time he is on his back he looks for submissions over and over again eventually he found one tonight and got the desired result